morning guys this is the part of the video where you guys which aren't subscribed click the subscribe button now let's just get on with filming there so guys before we start the video I just wanted to show you guys a product that I think you all should know about now you may have seen in my in, on my Instagram even in my old YouTube videos that I always have my bike suctioned onto the Audi TT because it doesn't fit in the car now this is the part that I do use it's called a tree frog it's a suction mounted bike carrier I'll show you how it fits now place the tree frog wherever you like on the car use the vacuum pumps to pump till the white band disappears pop your bike on top of the car use the quick release to tighten it up do the same for the back wheel and you're off if you can't fit your bike in the car or you just don't want to spend a fortune on a bike rack you know it doesn't have to be a bmx it could be a mounted bike a road bike and matter of fact here's my road bike attached to it my car with the road bike on top the one series with my bike on the top they are tuv approved they're really, really affordable and you can transfer them between any car. Check out the website www.goodleisure.com and use the code MAT10. You'll get yourself 10% off the bike rack. Let's get on with the videos. So, obviously, you've seen it. You know what's going to happen. We're going to be changing these headlights into the angel lights. Now, I've not opened them yet, so I'm going to bring the box here and then we'll open them. And then um, I'm pretty sure the bumper has to come off. So, we started this nice and early just in case things go, go a little bit wrong. So, here they are, off eBay, probably from China, but they don't look that bad, like, they, like quality wise they look quite good, but that is going to look so much better, it's literally going to transform the car with the black inside, they don't come with the H7 balls, but they came with the indicator in the side light, this looks like it has to be wired into the side light, we'll find that out later, um, might have to be a wing it job, looks like the bumper is going to have to come off, because there's um, a screw on the top, a screw down here on the side, but because of this bit on the bottom, you're not going to be able to pull it out, so the bumper definitely has to come off. So let's just get on with it and do it. Obviously, we've got that bolt there. There's a little hex down there. Yeah, there's a little torx down there. And this one here, um, I would like to call it, but we're not going to be able to move it because obviously the light goes lower than the bumper, so we'll have to take the bumper off. So it looks like one, two, three, four, four bolts along there, all the rest along the bottom, which I'm going to see if I can get away without jacking it up. So Perfect. let's do this. down there as you can see you can probably get to it yeah straight through there so I'm just gonna need a thin tool but then maybe I don't know it might come out without the bump being taken off but I'm take that strip off now will it come out without the bump Answer is no, bumper has to come off. So bumper off it is. So back to plan one. So there are loads of eight mil nuts. I think they're eight mil, must be seven. Underneath, uh, holding bumper on. So let's undo all of them. So if I can do this without jacking it up, it's going to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm just going to turn the wheels full lock to the right and see if we can get a few bolts. I assume there's going to be a few bolts inside the arch here because underneath now, that's pretty loose. It's just something in here holding it on. So you guys are on the floor now with me. Lovely Saturday morning on the floor, on the driveway. So there's one... There's two 8mm bolts there, but I don't think that's going to achieve anything. I think we are going to have to jack it up and probably have the wheel off, but we'll, we'll undo those 8 mils. Oh, it might be it. And there's one at the top, just here. 
I think that's it. Eight mils holding a bumper on. One bolt here, eight mil. One bolt there, eight mil. Uh, one bolt underneath here, which is eight mil. And then under here, where is it? One bolt, yeah, directly up there. That was hard to get to, that eight mil. And then that's it, you're out. Fully out. Headlight may come out now. Let's put you back on the tripod. Undone, one headlight out. Bloody stuff. Now, one thing I didn't show you is that this bit here, um, so this part of the light here, when you unscrew it, this little tab here, that comes off and that's going to go on the new light, so don't forget, don't forget that. Let's get the other side off and then we'll just start putting it back together. So we are out. Um, I've not took the bumper all the way off because I just didn't fancy lifting it all the way up. I've just done it enough so I can put the lights in and out. So it would be like this. It would probably be a good idea for me to put the bulbs in first, wouldn't it? Right, so H7 goes in there. Let's go get it. So I've picked up these new H7 babies of ebay chinese special it's gonna go in as normal like normal h7s and they are gonna clip into that so they fit in as normal we'll see how bright they are in a minute put them in put them in there let's uh and there's one more to go on here which is the full beam my bulbs are in and now connected up I don't know how bright they're going to be, they might be crap, I might have to put the old ones back in, but we'll see. Um, now we've got to figure out, we've got the self-leveling thing that we've got to put in at some point, but we'll worry about that in a minute after we've wired these side lights in, so they kindly give you some instructions, I'm just going to read them and then we'll, I'll get back to you after I've read them. So guys, after reading the instructions for a good 15 minutes, I have actually managed to fit one and it works. But I'll show you that in a minute because I want to show you how I fitted it and what you have to do because you have to do some like wiring yourself, which I don't know why it's not done before you actually get the headlight. So let's just get this one and I'll show you how to wire it because now I know how. This was quite a fiddly bit. So this thing here is the leveling jig. So you have to remove that. Now, you only can twist it to one way, then it won't come out. Then there's actually a, a screwdriver, a crossbow screw, screwdriver um, bolt, which is down there. Let me see if I can show you. So there's a cross-head screwdriver bolt which is down there which you've got to undo to get this level around. You're going to have to replace it out of your headlights. That's out. Now, if you don't have the electronic leveler, I'd assume this, the way it sits in like that, and then you can screw that bolt in and out and that will sort of push that in and out and that'd be sort of like manual leveling whereas this has got the electronic level this stuff so we're gonna have to take out the old headlight put them in this one and then what that will do is be able so you can adjust that up and down so this was a proper fiddly bit now so best bet would be to do that
there we go that is all connected up in there so this is the bit that I had to read the instructions for so you've got these wires which come out the bottom which are actually for the halo lights or angel lights whatever you call them so first step is to connect all the red ones together so we connect all the red ones together like that so we'll do that now now we do the same with the black so then you got black you got red now where do you need to connect them this is where I'll show you so it says in the manual um, connect them to the side light light so this is gonna be very very difficult to see but basically on the side light there's a white wire and a black wire the white wire is the positive and the black wire is the negative now they come out of the side light there's only one white wire which is here and then there is a black wire so you've got this black wire which goes to your full beam so it's not that black wire you've got that black wire which goes to your indicators it's not that black wire is this big one here so they're the two wires you want to be connecting them to so the red is going to go to the white and the black is going to go to the black so you just need to snip in the middle here which is what we do commitment commitment and we'll throw them off like this So that is all connected up now, um, basically an electrician. Now I'm gonna put it all back in, test it works before I put all the backing back on again. And then um, we're putting it all back together. Yeah, they're on they are on looking sick don't know where the i can see the light shining that way it might be literally all over the place but the electronic stabilizer leveler thing does work but i don't know whether it's leveling it in the correct position but they are adjusters on the back um so we will have to adjust it as and when the one thing that is letting it down is this bloody yellow side light i mean they don't supply any of the bulbs with it but they do supply the side light and it's yellow like you're changing the whole lights to be like the xenons but you give us a yellow bulb come on china so let's put them all back in and then um, we'll see what they look like when they're finally fitted on the car So that is it guys, it is literally fitted. It took a bit of sort of otching around to get it to line up and if you're a perfectionist, you're never gonna get it straight. So it's a good job, I'm not one. I've got it as straight as I can get it, sort of aligning the panels up, but it doesn't really matter too much because obviously in it, we're gonna be changing this bumper to the one M bumper. Now a lot of you have commented in the comment section on the last video, if you didn't see it, it's in the top right hand corner now, that you wanna see a spoiler being put on there. So I think the next mod, we're gonna get the spoiler fitted on then we're gonna go with a one end bumper and then wrap the whole car. Now, the only reason I'm gonna be wrapping it is because, because we're changing the bumpers and everything and a lot of bodywork, instead of getting it painted, which is a lot more expensive, I think wrapping it is gonna be a lot cheaper and I think it's just cool to change the car color anyway. It's good for the YouTube content as well. Content as well. This does actually look so much better, so I'm proper happy with this. So we'll cut to a little cinematic now of the shots of the lights.
So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you have clicked the subscribe button. Uh, oh, one last thing. So, look, we've got a bulb warning light on there. Um, so guys, we've got a bulb warning light on there um, for the main for the main beam and the dip beam. Now, um, that's because we put those aftermarket um, LED bulbs in, but let, I will show you in the next video, well, probably in the next video, maybe in the video after, I'm not too sure, but I'll show you in another video, so make sure you click subscribe, how to delete that fault off the dashboard. So, plenty more mods to come. We've got loads more coming for this BMW as well, and potentially maybe going to look at a Audi TT replacement today. So, let's see what happens. Guys, there's plenty more coming on the channel. Make sure you click subscribe. Hopefully I've helped you out or you've just enjoyed watching the video. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.